Hey there, gamers and Xbox fans. Welcome back to Jesus Gaming and Podcast, your go-to-go for sources of all things gaming. I'm Jesus, and today we got some Mythic Xbox news to share with you. And you know the saying, the good, the bad, and the ugly? I gotta say that I need to start backwards so we can have a better context on how much Jin Janish was actually last week for Xbox. So grab your controller and let's dive right in. As you all know, this past summer, the Federal Trade Commission tried to put a stop on the Activision Blizzard buyout in a preliminary injunction that they ultimately failed in the Northern District of California. While the FTC is in the middle of an appeal process to have a higher court to overrule the Northern California District Court and Judge Jacqueline Scott, early last week many outlets were given so much information because there was a massive leak on the findings and evidence regarding Xbox that were filed during the failed FTC preliminary injunction against Microsoft on attempting to buy Activision Blizzard. Later, it was confirmed by the court that the leaks document were to Microsoft inadvertently provided the court with a OneDrive link to their unredacted version and uploaded on the court side. Unredacted means that information that legally was required to be non-public either way saw the light and pretty much take part of the ugly and bad parts of the news. The bad. While we can transition from ugly to bad, it is already known that Phil Spencer as head of Microsoft Gaming and Xbox really needed to detail how dire the situation was backstage for Xbox to justify moves including a buying spree because PlayStation and Sony were actually having on their own, including declaring that we lost the console war in the worst generation to actually lose. Some of the documents leaked last week, Spencer doubled down on internal communications that Game Pass and Xbox needed to pass certain numbers on the next decade that includes sales, of course, or a serious backpedals are needed and included an exiting of Microsoft from the gaming industry. Mentioning about purchasing, Microsoft did have considered a buying spree of its own with names like Nintendo. Officially, it will have been Microsoft's second attempt if they ever pulled that one out. WB Games, Valve, and more companies. In the preliminary injunction hearings, it was well known that Sega was also in the consideration. And then we go for Stadia. Google's only attempt in the gaming industry via cloud gaming platform was actually brought up again. There was signal that Microsoft was worried on their chances to compete to Stadia, even fearing that they messed up not having Game Pass Cloud initially as a better way to answer Google. But after the first rumors of immense stream, the corporate version of Stadia or the white labeling of Stadia was a new priority rather Stadia itself for Google. CEO Satya Nadella asked the Xbox team about any opportunities and how they see why Google actually failed when they were actually wary that Game Pass Cloud was not enough to compete with Stadia. At the preliminary injunction hearing, it was revealed that Microsoft chose not to offer the game on cloud gaming offering and let Stadia take the lead, precisely because Microsoft knew that it would be used against them in the case of a massive purchase, like the Activision Blizzard deal. Now heading to the actual bad things, there are some projects that got leaked and of course there was no intention to actually reveal, and this includes Xbox hardware. Despite Phil Spencer confirming that there will be no mid-gen upgrade for the Xbox Series S and F period, we could see an all-digital Xbox Series X or no Blu-ray ROM by 2025 with a new custom controller in 2024. In my perspective, I think that Phil Spencer really make up his word and not calling this a mid-gen, but this is made more like a refresh instead of an upgrade because it is true that in paper the all digital Xbox series S might consume less energy there's no upgrade to neither the GPU or the CPU so pretty much just less consumption of energy because it doesn't have to need a blu-ray ROM and the Xbox controller in 2024 is basically the DualSense Pro or PlayStation controller Pro answer I consider this as a bad thing that Microsoft tentatively aims for uh, 2028 to say or launch what's next for Xbox hardware or pretty much declaring the next generation of gaming hardware by Microsoft. And yeah, we are coming from a uh, weird three years that started this current generation with the Xbox Series S and X and PlayStation 5. Basically the first two being non-existent with the semiconductor shortage which provoked many units of hardware not being available 
available for everyone so i do believe personally that this generation needs to be stretched beyond 2028 but that's my opinion if you agree with me or you want to debate about this you can let me know in the comment what you think of it it will be interesting the reach that Xbox One to stretch as there are visions of maybe a proper Nintendo Switch answer for the next main hardware as an hybrid computing and also a cloud-ready Xbox console was also mentioned. Now the Stadia is out of the picture, Microsoft is already developing Game Pass Cloud Server upgrade to prepare Xbox as a proper PC gaming and no longer the Xbox Game Pass Cloud be an Xbox Series X kind of an environment. Of course, there were some mentioning in gaming software related. The Elder Scrolls 6 was originally slated for a 2022 release, but Starfield took priority, obviously. And before the purchase of Cinemax Studio and Bethesda, works on the next Doom game, Dishonored 3, and a Ghostwire Tokyo sequel were in the pipeline of the next project. Finally, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion and Fallout 3 Remaster are also in development. Meanwhile, the only third party information that it was mentioned is that Rockstar game is working on the next gen upgrade of, of Red Dead Redemption 2. To this league and just arriving at Japan for the Tokyo Game Show 2023, Phil Spencer acknowledged the leaks and this is what he has to say in a memo that was handed to many outlets including The Verge. Team, today several documents submitted in the court proceeding related to our proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard were unintentionally disclosed. I know this is disappointing, even if many of the documents are well over a year old and our plan has been evolved. I also know that we all take all the confidentiality of our plan and our partner's information very seriously. This leak obviously is not us living up to that expectation. We will learn from what happened and be better going forward. We are putting incredible amounts of passion and energy into our work, and this is never how we want that hard work to be shared with the community. That said, there's so much to be excited about, and we were ready we will share the real plans with our players. In closing, I appreciate all the work that you're powering to the team aspects to surprise and delight our players in the days and weeks ahead. Let's stay focused on what we can control, continuing the amazing success of Starfield, the upcoming launch of the incredible and accessible Forza Motorsport, and continue to build games, services, and devices that millions of players can enjoy. Phil. With that being said, we can now say that we are in the good portion of last week's gaming news for Xbox, and this includes 18 announcements for Xbox Game Pass via the Xbox turn at the Tokyo Game Show 2023, coming in the reminder of 2023 and 2024. But I made a video listing all the games that are in line for Game Pass and you can watch it right over here. The other good news, and I think this, that put a smile on Microsoft, Xbox, and many Xbox fans, is that the CMA at the United Kingdom surprisingly declared a preliminary approval of the Activision Blizzard buyout as, as they see with good eyes the solution of their original rejectal early this summer, with Ubisoft serving as the cloud gaming provider for Activision Blizzard game and disallow a total control of Activision itself. While CMA warned that there's still residual issues, they're already being attended and now we are in the expectation for a full approval early in October. And there you have it folks, that's the latest Xbox news for you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to stay up to date with all things gaming including Xbox, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow us on Mastodon, Noster, Blue Sky and X, the link tree for all my links at the description for more gaming goodness. This was Jesus from Jesus Gaming and Podcast, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next time, health and success.